So in general, to answer the types of questions that were on the picture, um, first thing to go over a couple of things. Um, for slopes, a slope is constant if you have a straight line. Or in essence, if you have a line, because all lines for our purposes are straight. So the first one here, we'd have a constant zero slope. Here we'd have a positive constant slope. And then we'd have a example of a negative constant slope. And the word positive means that it is going uphill from left to right. The word negative means that it is going downhill from left to right. So that's the basic concept. Now, the ones that looks like you're having issues with were the ones that said like positive increasing, positive decreasing and stuff like that. So in my classes, um, I teach them these by drawing a circle. And then I'm going to draw, cut the circle into four regions and label, if I was just to look at the graph in each one, one of these regions, what the slope would be. So I'm going to call this region one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to redraw them over here on the right. So one looks like this. So this is one. It is going uphill from left to right, so this is positive. And the slope is getting shallower, it's getting flatter. If something's getting flatter, we will call it decreasing. So if it's getting steeper, we will say the slope is increasing. If it's getting flatter, we will say the slope it is decreasing flatter. So region one is positive decreasing. Region two, if I look at two different slopes here, if I look at the slope at the beginning, and I look at the slope towards the end, it's getting steeper. So region two, because it's going downhill, I'm gonna call this negative slope and it is increasing because it is getting steeper from point A to point B. From left to right, it's getting steeper. So that would be negative increasing. Region three, if I just isolate that region, it is going uphill from left to right. So it is positive. And because the slope again, if I check the slope here, and I check the slope here, the slope is getting steeper. I'm going to call this one positive increasing. And the last one is my region four. It looks like this. It's going downhill from left to right, so it is negative. And it is getting flatter as I go left to right, so it is decreasing. Okay, the reason why I draw the circle in my math class is because there's some points that I'd like to reference. Anytime that I am changing from <clears throat> increasing to decreasing, so if I want to change from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing, so increasing to decreasing would be something that looks like this. And from decreasing to increasing would be something that looks like this. The transition points are called inflection points. And I'm assuming you have a smooth curve. These are inflection points. So increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing, you get inflection points. If you are going from positive to negative, or negative to positive slopes. 
So here I'm going positive to negative. And the other one, I can go from negative slope to positive slope. The points at the top and the bottom are going to be called our relative. And if it's the tippity top or bottomy bottom, they would be called absolute maximums and minimums. So absolute max slash min. So hopefully that's enough to answer all of your questions. If you have more, uh, best way right now is to get a hold of me email because I left the phone at the house. Thank you.